So you won't believe where we are right now. We are in the south of Spain. Yeah. For those of you that are new around here, I'm Steven. And I'm Elaine. And we can't wait to show you some of the wonders of Antignet, Spain. It's a beautiful place. Bonita. Oh my God. I feel a lot of different things about it right now. It's a good thing I don't live in Spain. So stay tuned. Buenas tardes from Antignet, Spain. We're super excited to be here. Over the next couple of days, we want to take you to some of the best restaurants in the area. We can't wait to taste them and we can't wait to share them with you. So during the week here, there are daily special menus that include an appetizer, a main, and a dessert item. And you can pick, they have a couple of choices for each one. We're gonna show you, we're each gonna, <laughs> it's warm and there are a lot of bugs. Um, we're each gonna pick different items so that we can taste as many options as possible and show you as many different things as possible. Palm trees down here in Antoinette, just enjoying the city life. It's so beautiful out here. Hello, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Spain and we're gonna try out another local Spanish restaurant. I believe the name is Saraguel. Not sure I'm pronouncing that right. If not, please let us know. But we're excited, we're hungry, and uh, we're ready to check it out. Let's go. Okay, we've made it in. We're trying to translate. I'm obviously speaking English. They're speaking Spanish. We have our drinks so far. Steven got a San Miguel. I got a vino tinto, so a red wine. And it's cold, which I've not had cold red wine served to me in a restaurant before, so that's interesting. Uh, it's really good, delicious. And then hopefully we're gonna get an English menu. The decor is amazing, cute, modern. They have beers from all over the world. Okay, our first course has arrived. I have the Caesar salad, it looks amazing. It's like a tiny baby romaine little lettuce head, super cute, with saffron here on the top. Which, that's gonna be amazing. Real Caesar with real anchovies. I can tell, it's a strong anchovy flavor, but I like it. So I got the tomato and sardines, which look at that plate. It looks amazing, to use Elaine's words. <laughs> it's a different take on the salad. That's interesting. The anchovy gives it the salt to the tomato that you would love. It's a great dish. Like, I would definitely have this again. Lunch was amazing. I ordered the salmon as my main course and it looks fantastic. It has some cold little like onions like you put in a cocktail. They're adorable. Anyway, looks amazing. Can't wait to try it. Although I don't think a knife is necessary, it is super tender. It tastes like I'm having a salmon burger. It's delicious. Okay, so this is like a duck, bacon, and peas with noodles. That looks amazing. I can't quite place the sauce. But it definitely gets out of the way when the duck comes in. It's the main star. Definitely one of them. It is so beautiful. Muy bonita. Little pieces of chocolate. But it looks amazing. Ten stars. All right. Here I go again. I said it once. I said it a million times. It's the chocolate moment. It's for me. Perfect to end the meal. Oh, it is so soft. Oh my God. Huh? The people here are so nice. The fact that the waitress took the time to transcribe the menu in English. I know, she asked if we wanted the menu in English. See, si, por favor. And then she didn't come back for a long time. Okay, one of our favorite things to do, as you may know, when we travel, is go to a place where they only speak the local language. And our waitress doesn't really speak English. My Spanish is terrible. So she wrote us notes. She wrote out the entire menu selection for us today. This is just explaining how the menu works. But then she wrote out the whole menu, each option, so that we could pick and choose in English. Yeah, it, it was so nice of her to do. And we gave her a nice big tip. But the food was absolutely delicious. This is the second gastro pub we've gone to, and apparently gastro pub are like regular bars, just with the best food you've ever tasted. <laughs> yeah, and, that's a good uh, way to describe it. <laughs> Can't wait to see where we go tomorrow for our next lunch because that's gonna be even better. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's go there now. Buenos tardes. 
we are super excited to be trying some amazing local foods. We have a restaurant we're headed to today. The name is just these letters. We don't really know much about it because the entire website is in Spanish. So anyway, we'll just have to go and check it out. We can learn more about it. But for now, let's go. All right, we made it. They're open. We're hoping they're gonna accept a table for two. We don't know how to make reservations online. And Steven's gonna park the car. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go get a bite. I hope it's not uh, expensive. We have no idea how much it costs, but it doesn't have any bitterness at all. I like it because it's not sweet. We're not sure what kind of wine. I just said local red wine. It has kind of a woody flavor and then like a deep, like a dark cherry or something flavor, but it's delicious. Cheers. So this is Turia and it's made here in Spain, but it's a German style beer. It's delicious. It's a lager. It's a dark ale and it's just absolutely delicious. Finishes crisp and clean. I love this beer. Cheers. This menu is available here weekdays. You get a three course meal for 14 euros. And then you gotta add on drinks after that. That's an amazing price for a three course meal. Can't wait to taste it. Gave us some nice fresh nuts. So there's some kind of seasoning or spices on these nuts. They're similar to what we have as like a honey nut, but they have this additional spicy, tangy taste to them. Unfortunately, it's really addictive, so you just want to keep eating them. It's delightful. So I ordered the poke, which is salmon, avocado, and I don't know what this is. So I believe I ordered a salad. Nice, it's a very nice appetizer, very nice start. Tomato. There you go. Oh, Thank, you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, it's huge. Look at my little hand. It's gigantic. It's super warm. You can see the huge chunks of fish. You're not allowed to order this unless there are at least two of you. <laughs> we can see why. Okay. Ooh, ow, it's hot. That's probably yes. what these are for. <laughs> One of the cool things about this dish, culturally, is that you eat it right out of the pan. I got my paella. I'm gonna tell you, this is what I was looking forward to coming to Valencia. The color is amazing on this dish. Everything about it, oh my God. And if you wanna know anything about me is, I'm a rice eater. Absolutely love rice. Oh yeah. Mmm, that is super flavorful. The fish taste hit me first, so I was a little bit worried. But then afterwards, there's this like deep flavor, like savory, almost creamy, cheesy. I don't know what it is. It was, it's delicious. It's amazing. So the one thing I love, about getting paella out of the pan like this, that's the crispy bits. It adds depth to flavor. It's just amazing and lovely. Look at that. Uh, you can tell that they've been making this dish for years. You couldn't substitute a single thing out of it. Sorry, not sorry. Best meal often yet. So this is the local melon. I've actually already had it because our hosts left us one. It's green on the outside, unlike our honeydew, but it is similar to the honeydew melon. This is fresh hand whipped cream. Looks amazing. And it looks like a fig sauce on top. Figs are in season right now. It's too big for my mouth. It's amazing, delightful. One thing with the paella being so heavy and like so much rice, it's nice to have a lighter dessert. I really enjoy it. Looks like a chocolate brownie with some little foam. No idea, but it's delicious. It almost tastes like the type of a, the top of a coffee. It's really delicious. That was an amazing first meal out in Spain. Fantastic. So glad we chose the Bosque for our first time. The meal, the total kit was $42, which that would be a $160 meal in the States. So we're super excited. One thing that is part of our living like locals lifestyle is grocery shopping, of course. That's one thing you have to do everywhere you go if you're gonna live somewhere for a while. Today, we're gonna check out a local grocery store. They were closed yesterday, so this is our first chance. We're super excited. We need some toiletries and things anyways, but we're also just excited to see what they have that we're not expecting. 
let's check it out. Don't go. go. Oh yeah, you can't go that. Go this way. Maybe. It says stop. Did anything say don't go right? I don't think so. We're lost. Trying to follow Google. It's super cute. It's adorable little alleyway. But it's scaring us, Google. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're definitely in like some Spanish neighborhood that we're not. 20 miles an hour left. Oh yeah, it's saying we're good. It's a wild ride. You can't see how steep this hill is. Oh, that's a cute park. Really, Google? What is Except, that? Uh, zona of beyond, you want me to translate? Yes. 20 minutes later. Once we made it to the local supermarket, we were surprised to see a French style bakery. This little guy. Sticky. Ta da! So cute. Cheaper than in Paris. Don't tell Paris. <laughs> we even have frozen quail eggs. Cold soups, which we taste in our next vlog in Barcelona. Fresh produce and rabbit. Seriously, the most unique meat section we've ever seen. Never seen such a organized, clean grocery store. Okay, we are super excited to be taking you out to lunch today at Blanc Negre, which means white and black. It's a gastro restaurant, so they always have these like really cool modern uh, food options. Lunch on a Saturday, which is a little bit more pricey than the, during the week. We're gonna have to piece together our own menu. We started here with pickled oysters, we've never had it before, and chips, and we'll go from there. All right, they gave us these cute little forks. We're gonna dig in here. I don't know if you're supposed to have it. Well, they're huge and they're dripping oil with a chip or just by itself. I feel a lot of different things about it right now. It's not really that pickled. It's a light pickledness. It also has like a smoked flavor to it. It's a rich, deep, flavor, almost like a pate. It tastes almost like duck pate, but it ends with like a little fishy note. So maybe that's what the chips are for. Take off the edge. It seemed to look good. Kind of finishes weird. It's not as salty as I as I thought it might be. It's good, but the chips are delicious. Yeah, the chips are amazing. We just received. They call it clear bread with tomato sauce or spread. Looks really fresh, and it's like maybe whipped. I'm not sure. The bread is so thin. I see why they say it's clear. It's so light it's just basically like a carrier for the sauce and this just tastes like pureed tomatoes delicious it would be good if there was salt that's just probably because we're americans these are valencian sausages they all look amazing and i'm going to try one with this bread and tomato this one looks the most unique super rich flavor like a dark heavy flavor also creamy and fatty delicious. Can't wait to try them all. Uh, we ordered the mountain paella. It has sirloin steak, asparagus, garlic, and young mountain onions. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, I see the garlic. There's the garlic. All right. Here we go. It's hot. It is so buttery. One of the main ingredients in paella must be butter because it is so good. The, it just gives the rice so much flavor, so much depth. The sirloin is really good. It tastes almost like venison, like it has a real lean, wild flavor to it, delicious. And the asparagus adds a nice crunch. We be in. All right, Elaine says this is amazing. She's raving about it. I can't wait to dig in. That is delightful. Unlike most rice I've ever had in my life. Oh my God, that's, that's delightful. I don't know what kind of butter they use, but the rice and the meat combination, whatever they did to make the rice taste like the meat, A plus. Okay, so one of the wonderful things about traveling that I personally love is the adventure. So we don't know Spanish, 
and we're trying to translate through Google Translate for the menu. What we didn't know was we were going to get this. This is a tuna rice combination that we thought may have looked like an appetizer on the menu. There's no pictures, but now we're stuck with it. And uh, I mean the best version of stuck. It looks delicious. So I have to take time from the paella. So it's tuna and rice. Looks like some vegetables are mixed in with the tuna. Looks like some cucumbers and some carrots, the zucchini maybe, maybe. Okay, but let's get into this tuna. Oh yeah, we love seaweed. Ooh, would you look at that color? Oh my God, that looks amazing. It's a good thing I don't live in Spain. Cause I'd be double the way that I am now with this delicious food. That is a home run. It's matter of fact. It could be beef, it could be chicken. It is very matter of fact and it brings its own little flavor to it. But combining it with this rice, I can't stop tasting it. We love trying all of these different places. All the foods were amazing. Even though we ordered some of the same things, like the different paellas, they were still each very unique and had lots of different flavors. Amazing. You'll have to come try it for yourself if you haven't already. Yeah, the food is unlike anything I've ever tasted. So, and I hope to keep saying that as we go all the way across Europe. That's it from us here in Anton Yet. Just remember, I'm Steven. And I'm Elaine. Wishing you savory. Exceptional adventures. Be